Hi, I'm Sonia Choquette. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about something that I've experienced myself as an empath, an intuitive, a sensitive person, but also have had a lot of requests from people to talk about, which is how do you take care of yourself? When you are a highly sensitive person, you're an intuitive, you're an empath, you feel things and you're about ready to have a meltdown because you're saturated. So first let's talk about how you know you're on the verge of a meltdown. The first thing is you get super irritable and, and just basically cranky. Things start getting on your every last nerve. Noise bothers you. People's movements bother you. Chewing bothers you. Life bothers you. Everything starts to bother you and you just can't get comfortable. So basically what's going on is you're saturated. It's like empaths are like sponges. We intuitive people soak up the energy in the atmosphere around us. And so what you need to do is separate. You need to, to step away from the stimulation. It's just, as you probably already said, too much. So first thing to do is don't judge yourself. Just be self-aware. You start feeling uncomfortable, agitated, your mood swings, you, you all of a sudden aren't having fun. Just recognize I'm saturated and excuse yourself. If you can, leave the, leave the premises. Go outside, go for a walk, even a walk around the block, anything to move the energy because your body's holding on to it. Now, sometimes going outside is not possible. Maybe you're in the office, maybe you're somewhere with family where to leave would be weird and cause more stress. So just excuse yourself either to the bathroom or the bedroom. And the other way to move energy is through breathing. And there's particular breathing that really grounds you and empties the energy. So the first thing you need to do is be aware that that's your intention to empty the energy that has invaded you. So one, it's like a three-step process. Step one, look around the room or look around wherever you are and notice three physical things in front of you. There's the wall, there's the floor, there's the door, there's the window. And say them out loud because what this does is it brings you back into your body. And when you get in your body, then you are in a position to tell everything and everyone else to get out of your body. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is you want to breathe in slowly to the count of four. So we just do this one, two, three, four, breathing in. Four, and then I want you to place your tongue on the roof of your mouth because that calms the agitation. It calms the throat chakra. It calms the energy that you're taking in through your ears, through your eyes, through the back of your head, and through the upper heart. And then I want you to exhale like you're pulling your belly to your spine and you're emptying everything. You can even use the mantra in your mind, everyone out of the pool, okay? So you exhale for four, pulling your belly to your spine. One, two, three, four, like you're just doing this. When you're completely empty, breathe up through your feet. Using your imagination, you anchor to the ground because you're like a live wire and the ground grounds the energy, drains it. So you breathe up through your feet. Think of the center of the earth, breathing up through your feet, your knees, your, your sacrum, your solar plexus, your heart, breathe up. And then open your jaw and let out another sigh, another exhale for four. Ah. So you breathe in the nose for four, Exhale with the tongue on the roof of your mouth for four. Breathe up through your feet for four. Open your jaw. And you do this five to 10 times with the idea that I am emptying, emptying, emptying. Don't rush. 
This is the key. Part of what causes the meltdown and the overload is that you get into anxiety and, and you speed up. And when you speed up, you stop breathing. When you stop breathing, your body goes into fight or flight. That's the beginning of the meltdown. So this is the antidote. It actually works really well. You just have to remember, it's four part breathing, four counts to each part. Four parts in once you look around the room, four parts out with your tongue on the roof of the mouth, four parts in up from the ground, four parts out, jaw open. Ah. At the end of that sigh, that ah, smile. Because when you smile, you kind of stretch the light of your own energy and it kind of stabilizes your frequency. So this is something to do whenever you feel overwhelmed. Now, a couple of things that are really important. You need to be alone. You're just saturated by too much stimulation, other people's energy, too much sound, light show, emotion, drama, talking, too much. So you want to be alone and you want to do that. You want to choose to be alone without any guilt. You just need to say, excuse me, I got to go. People don't ask you when you do that because they wonder like where you got to go and is this going to be unpleasant? So they kind of let you go. And don't feel the need to go back into the situation if you can help it. We often, empaths, tend, we tend to sit in circumstances that really don't work for us. We get overstimulated, so we have to be mindful and aware of what we subject ourselves to. It's not that we're antisocial. It's not that we don't want to be with people. It's just that we have to be mindful of how energy affects us. So you want to kind of suss out the energy when you go into a circumstance. When you walk into a restaurant, for example, you walk into a room or you walk into a meeting or you walk into the home, check the vibe out. You don't want to just get blindsided by energy. And one of the ways to prepare yourself before you enter a situation that could potentially overwhelm you is to put your thumb and forefinger together just like this and breathe in with the words I am and exhale with the words the mantra calm and grounded I am calm and grounded and you can just say that to yourself over and over so this is just a quick little kind of SOS technique to take care of yourself because let's face it, life has been very stressful, generally for the world population, but for empaths, sensitives, intuitives, highly sensitive people, it's, it's really been on high alert frequency for us and our nervous systems have really been, been taxed. It's up to us to recognize how to take care of ourselves. So I hope this little tutorial helps practice and be aware that you can control how much energy you take in with awareness and with your breath. So you don't have to be overwhelmed. You don't have to just sit there and be saturated and, and, and completely electrocuted by energy. It's not necessary. If you give yourself permission and you use this tool of breath, breathing in and out. So I hope this works. I hope this will help your life be a little bit better and make navigating these crazy times a little easier. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed learning what you've learned, please, if you're new to my channel, subscribe because I put a tip out at least once a week to just make life go better. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. All my love.